Hello, welcome to Spinning It Up, the bankroll challenge where we start at $25 at 25 cent spin and goes and try to move up in the stakes on poker stars. The last time we spun, we spun four times, won three out of four games, and had a net profit of 50 cents. That increased our bankroll to $33.25, which is the highest it's been so far since we started the challenge. Can we continue the run hot in this episode? I sure hope so. Fifty cents. Oh no. Fifty cents. We're on a fifty cent streak right now. These things happen. Last time we won a lot of games. If we could just do that every single time we spend minimal multipliers, bankroll's gonna keep going up. It's gonna be glorious. Alright. So, a little bit of a sad turn on the right. Let's go ahead and just check it. If he bets on the river, probably will call since a whole bunch of draws missed. And well, there we go. Perfect. We are lucky. We three outed him on that flop. Pretty fortunate for us. So, we've got an early chip lead on the right. Let's complete the queen six suited. Second pair, not too shabby, could win the pot. What's going on on the left? They are going at it. Curzo just called that guy with ace high. Wow. <laughs> wow, that was a that was definitely a little ace high hero call. Okay. Okay. Let's fold the 6-2. I mean, he limped with the tiniest stack, and I just had a terrible hand. A terrible hand. Okay, so let's isolate this guy. We'll isolate him. Hopefully bust him. That's a good start. All right, he's got a few outs still. Okay, so we are heads up already against Mr. Bogus, who has the chip lead. It's okay. We got this. Heads up. No problem. No problem. Especially if he folds a lot. If he folds a lot, it will be very, very nice. So let's hope that he continues, although he does call here. Uh, he bets out of position. Let's call. I'm going to call one more time. And... I'm gonna hope he checks. Wow, he bet really big. I don't know, I have no idea what he has there. We will never know unless he's recording spin and go, you, spin and go videos for YouTube. Maybe one day I'll find Mr. Bogus showing this game being like, ha, I bluffed Cordy B, what a sucker. I knew she wouldn't call a third barrel, especially if it was close to pot size. Ha ha ha. That's probably not happening though. We're probably not finding that video online. Okay, so Ram Hat, three betting us, pretty large. We're gonna go ahead and fold. Folding on the left too. So heads up has not gone well. I lost the chip lane on the right, but uh, we still have a starting stack, so it's not too bad. Let's just limp 8 2 suited. That was a really fast check. Unfortunately for us, it's not a great, a great flop. In fact, it's quite terrible. <laughs> Queen high might be good on the right, and it's probably good now that we've had a pair. I didn't really expect him to call that, though. His checks were just so quick. There's no way we no way we could expect him. Expect him to go with it. Or even call a bet of 30. Uh, I wonder. Try one thing. Limp call here with the nine succeeded and unfortunately just fold on this high flop. Especially to a pot size bet. You are very convincing, Mr. Bogus. Uh, 
Nine four, no good. King nine would be good. King nine has top pair. We got king nine on both tables. All right, so let's flat. Hmm. Not so sure about this diamond on the turn. Raman is betting out of position. Okay. Let's go. We're ahead. Boom. Okay, so we have a pretty handsome chip lead on the right. Hopefully we can take it down. Folding the 4-2 on the left is not, not what I was hoping for there. Fives is pretty good. And we'll just jam it in with a7. Eight three, let's fold ten three also. Ooh, we gotta walk though. Uh ten six suited, I guess, is a jam, right? Um I look at the Nash chart. So I'm looking at a heads up Nash chart in case you're wondering. You can Google that. Just Google exactly heads up um push fold chart or Nash chart or equilibrium or any combination of those words, you should be able to find one. Uh, if you look at 10 six suited, it says that you should jam it, or that you can jam it, like, you can jam 20 big blinds, and it's like, well, I guess I shouldn't have had to look that up. Should be auto jam at 12 big blinds, but oh well. This is weird, why isn't the fold button working? Did you guys see how many times I clicked fold there? Hmm. So we lost the chip lead on the right. We got it in a little bit bad against this pocket bear. So we're grinding. We're grinding away here. Let's call. Should we bet out of position here? Let's try it. 100. Okay, took it down. He probably just had nothing, but we'll make ourselves feel good by patting ourselves on the back. Good job, Courtney. Have some have some self-esteem or some confidence. 90, we'll just fold that. Take a free flop with 3-2 suited. We got bottom pair. Okay. So I guess uh, we'll call one on the right. If he bets to get on the river, probably we'll fold. He didn't though, we won the pot, so that was nice. Slump that, jam it in. So we haven't really had any situations where we could really check and then call Mr. Bogus. Uh, he's been over betting a lot. Uh, but we just have not had an opportunity to call him at any point. Luckily, we just won it all in. That's a nice little three-outer. Not going to complain about that. We have the eight of spades on the right. So let's see. There's a ten, the king, um, the ace. I mean, there's a lot. I guess there's a lot more lower spades that could call us. So maybe I should have bet just half pot. Let's try bluff here. Bad time. Bad timing for a bluff. All right, HUD. How many chips? Um... Okay, so we'll call on the right. We have a pair on the left. Haven't really had a lot of spots where we could actually bet after raising. I think that's the first continuation bet that I've made. Uh, I made two in this spin and go. I made two.
We've got we've gotten to the high blinds. We're a big blind sixty. Won't be playing for a spin and goes in this episode. Take a flop here. Jack ten. I mean possibly it's an all in. And he's been folding so much, may as well give it a go, right? Ninety into one twenty, okay. I'm kind of surprised he didn't jam. He's been, he, he, I feel like he's been jamming a lot against our limps, but I thought I would give it a try anyway. Ace Jack. I mean, I wish. I wish it was Ace Jack. I, I love how I'm like, oh yeah, Ace Jack, and then I limp it. Yeah. Uh, Jack four, not quite Ace Jack. All right, our hand is pretty decent on the right. Uh, don't want to make it that big. Let's make it 75. We're flipping. Ooh, <laughs> that's a good flop for him. 9-2 suited is pretty bad. Let's try limping it. Okay, so we've lost the chip lead on the left. Looks like we might be in a little bit of trouble considering the blind size. Okay, we're ahead not for long, though. Oh, baby. That was a pretty good battle between me and Mr. Bogus. I mean, we did have to uh, three-outer him to get to get a chance, uh, to have a chance to win it. Unfortunately, in the end, we couldn't, uh, we could not win one of those all-ins. Okay, so Ram Hat. He's bet out of position twice. The second bet was pretty small. Um, he, I mean, he might just have it. I was obviously trying to bink and I wasn't, I wasn't able to find the bink. So he won the pot. Blinds have gone up to big blind 80. It's not my, not my favorite thing to say in these videos. <laughs> uh, even though he folds 100% of the time so far, it's a sample size of three. And 7-4 isn't one of those hands that you really want to uh, gamble with. You'd rather have a suited hands, like 7-4 suited would be fine in that case. All right, let's get it in with 4-3 suited. He folded, which is good. 7-4 offsuit. Oh, good, good. Yes, walk me. That is nice. See, this is the thing. when you, If you get card dead like uh, Ram had appears to be, you just get wrecked. You get wrecked once the blinds are this high. Because, I mean, look, look how many chips I have. We haven't even shown down at all because the blinds are just so big. So that's uh, definitely a big thing, is not folding too much once the blinds get high. Alright, well, it wasn't exactly the blockbuster episode that we had last time. I mean, last time uh, we, we won 50 cents, but it felt like a blockbuster because we won 3 out of 4 games. But uh, this time we spun twice. We won one and we lost one, so our bankroll's going to stay at $33.25. Thank you so very much for watching this episode of Spinning It Up. If you enjoyed it, please do click that thumbs up and also make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you'd ever like to watch me play poker live, go ahead and go to twitch.tv slash CordyB. You can also follow me on Twitter at CordyB there, CordyB8 on Snapchat. Thanks again. Have a great day or night, whatever it is for you, and talk to you in the next episode of Spinning It Up.